Hello guys, Barney here and welcome to a 20th v jQuery video tutorial. Now in this one, we are going to look at the delegate uh, event. Now, what the delegate does is it attaches to uh, elements that are apparent of uh, the selected elements. So let's say for example, you have a div here. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So you had a div and uh, Inside the div, you had a, um, an input. Input type it was uh, text. Hi there. This is awesome. And it was an input. And then we had a break here, and then we had. Uh, uh, you know what? This is not uh, input type text. This is input type button. And then I want this to be at the bottom. Not there. Sorry, guys. Then in here we had a uh, text. Let's say a paragraph. <coughs> Excuse me. Hi there. This is a paragraph. <clears throat> so um, now let's uh, change the background color of this to uh, the div to uh, uh, um, I guess uh, green, my favorite color. And let's see what we have here so far. So, uh, and this is a mistake here. I should uh, come here and say cut value and say click. This may move some changes, minor changes, and there you go. Nothing happens when I click it, other than uh, the double click that I didn't change here. So I'll get rid of that right now. And there you go. So nothing happens, just a basic div with, with a paragraph and a button inside. And when you click it, nothing happens. So that's uh, what we just created right here. Now let's use the delegate function to um, do something with this. So we're going to say that and uh, we want to select um, the button which is in the input. I'll say button uh, dot delegate. Um, uh, actually, this is not button. This is div. Sorry. Div dot delegate, and uh, we'll come here and say. Uh, when the button is clicked, when what happens to the button? When it's clicked, do something. Let's create a function. Do this function. Run this function. We want it to uh, um, the paragraph dot slide toggle. So uh, let's refresh and see what we have. When I click it, nothing happens. Okay, so this is what I will do. I'll just change this button here to input. Input. And when I save it, and I refresh it, and I click it, now it does work. As you can see, it slide toggles there. Now I know your what well, your question is. Now what if I had a lot of a lot of inputs here? So that would just be a problem, right? There's another way uh, in HTML of creating a button. Other than all this, you can just simply say button, or you can as well give it an ID, it doesn't matter. You say button, and uh, click. And uh, that's it. Okay, guys, and if you refresh it, it's just the same thing right there. But this time it doesn't work because we need to change. Uh, this here the button. 
I hope you learned a lot from this video, guys. And uh, there you go. So thank you guys for watching this video. In case of any questions, just send me an email, uh, a message on Facebook, uh, YouTube, uh, Twitter, wherever. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Subscribe, rate this video, and uh, please share. And uh, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.